This is the newly launched vehicle from Tata. It's called Tata Hexa, and we are here at the outskirts of Bangalore on the way to Nandi Hills, test driving this new vehicle. Tata seems to have done a lot of uh, engineering and uh, applied a lot of mind into this product. And uh, the predecessor to this product was Tata Aria. And Tata Aria was not very successful in the market and it is quite natural for them to apply so much of effort into this product. And let us have a look at this product. When the teasers were up on the social media of this vehicle, I thought the Tata Hexa could be a facelift of Aria, but it is quite different when it is finally revealed. The changes are far more deeper and fundamental. It looks tough in appearance and modern. What we have driven is an automatic transmission vehicle. The gear shift is quite smooth and there is enough power when you push the accelerator. A plastic cladding dominates the lower portion of EXA combined with the wider wheel arches and the door trims it makes the car looks a lot more aggressive than it would have otherwise the side profile is also dominated by the sloping roof line that travels upright at the very end the rear end of the car has two large horizontally placed LED lamps with a really cool lighting and a large chrome accent piece that runs across the tailgate. The 19-inch alloy wheels with a classic design and a wider wheel arches gives it an appearance high in stature. Hexa looks much bigger than Mahindra XUV 500 and the Innova Krista. It is in fact longer and wider. It has a wheel base of 2850 mm. The refinement in design and quality are obvious when you step into the Hexa. The overall quality of plastic and materials used are far the best we have ever seen on any Tata Motors vehicles in the past. This refinement in the cabin is something you find in recently launched Tata vehicles that is comparable with European standards. It comes in two seat arrangements. The rear seat comes as either as a two captain seats or a bench seat which can accommodate three people. The central console gets a touchscreen infotainment unit with navigation that syncs with your smartphone and an array of options including Bluetooth smartphone integration. The multifunctional steering wheel gets cruise control, audio, telephone controls and it's height adjustable. Rear leg space in both versions is quite healthy and the rear passenger get their own AC vent in the center and on the B pillars. The third row could get slightly cramped if you are of an average height but passengers do get their own storage space and charging points. Mechanically, Tata Exa is very similar to Safari Storm. For example, it gets same 2.2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged diesel Varico engine that makes 156 of BHP and 400 Newton meter of torque. 
the engine is mated with either a six speed manual or a six speed automatic gearbox the manual gets option of both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive whereas the automatic is only available in the rear wheel drive configuration XI is basically a rear wheel drive vehicle but as and when the road condition calls for the torque is transferred to the front wheel also up to a maximum of 45 percent this is done by the ESP system it is integrated with three drive modes auto comfort and rough road the automatic gearbox is surprisingly smooth and there are no jerks in between the shifts there is also a tiptronic setting where one can manually shift the gears the hexa sheer ride comfort is very impressive and it glides over bumps and potholes like as it doesn't exist all the four wheels comes with disc brakes and it brakes efficiently when you slam on the brakes it will be mainly competing with Toyota Innova Crysta it is priced between 12 to 19 lakhs depending upon the options you go for it is also expected to give a mileage of 12 to 15 kilometers per liter depending upon the road condition Tata seems to have included all the comforts, luxury and performance that a customer would look for in this particular segment of vehicle and priced it competitively. It is definitely value for money. So Anil, how do you find the response so far for Tata Hexa? So Hexa is a too good vehicle. Yeah. It is uh, after a lot of uh, no, R&D, the car has been launched in the market in the month of January. Yeah. The response is very good. We are getting near about uh, five to six uh, test drives in a day. Okay. And we have got already near about 65 bookings. Okay. Uh, the, the response is good because people are opting on uh, uh, XT top end. Yeah. That is four into four. Yeah. And XTA. The yeah. major booking is on the two lines. Ah, okay. All right. Sir, so right now we are competing. Uh, this particular segment is only competing with uh, Innova. Yeah. Uh, Toyota Innova. Yeah. The recently launched uh, uh, model called Krista. Yeah. And we are competing with this, yeah. and uh, we have got uh, many bookings that have gone to Toyota. Yeah. They have gone to test drive and everything. They came back to Hexa. Yeah. They got a test drive here, yeah. and they booked the car with us. So, Krista, uh, if you take about the mechanical transmission which is coming, yeah. it uh, probably starts with 22. Yeah. But my top end variant with all the futures yeah. is coming up to on the on road prices near about 22.5. Yeah. So there's a much uh, price difference which is we are given it yeah. with the same futures which is there with Innova. Yeah. And definitely this is the wonderful car in compared to Innova. Yeah. So we have got a lot of response from this. Yeah. And if you go to the social media, yeah. there are a lot of uh, reviews on uh, Hexa yeah. which compares with Innova and the people are happy with the Hexa. Okay.